going on. In this problem, we're going to prove one of the distributive laws uh, in the theory of sets. Um, let's go ahead and, and go through the proof. So proof. So we'll start by showing that this set is equal to this set, and we're just going to take a direct approach. Uh, we're just going to write down what this means and then just directly show it's equal to this. So, so we have A union B intersection C. So what is, it, what is a union? Let me maybe explain that here. So if you have capital X union capital Y, that's equal to the set of all X such that X is in capital X or X is in capital Y. So there's an or involved. So X is in capital X or X is in capital Y. Right? That's the definition of union. Intersection is the same except you have an and. Okay, except you have an and. So this is the set of all X such that X is an A. And then whenever you see the union, you know you can replace that with an or, right? So or, or X is in B intersection C. Right? You can replace that with an or, with an or. And then this is what I like to call a one-way proof. Um, I had this professor a long time ago. He passed away a couple years ago. He used to always say that most mathematical proofs, you know, the one-way proofs, you know, all you got to do is just, just go one way and um, you can do them, right? You can do them. So this is the set of all x, such that x is an a. Or, I mean, the only thing you can do, right, one-way proof, the only thing you can do is use the definition of intersection. So for it to be in the intersection, it means it's in both. So it means that x is in b and x is in c, right, x is in c. And I'm going to put parentheses here for added clarity. Um, you don't have to put them there. Uh, this is just to emphasize that this came from from. Now, in the theory of logic, you have the OR operator and you have the AND operator. And OR distributes over these, right? So this is the same thing as saying X and A or X and B and X and A or X and C. So this is X and A or X and B. And I'm going to underline the AND for added clarity. Okay, X and A or X and C, right? Or X and C. And this means that X is in the union, so this is the set of all X, such that X is in A union B, and, and then this is X in A union C, right? Whenever you have an OR, you can replace it with the union symbol, with the union symbol. So we have X in A union B, and X in A union C, and means intersection, so this is precisely the definition of A union B intersect A union C. I have been so focused on doing this that I forgot what we were trying to prove. I just kind of like, one way proof, right? You just do what you can, and let's see. <laughs> it worked. That's it. I uh, hope this has helped your proof writing skills. Take care.